Hi, Ultra Strings Violin Players. This, viol this video is for you to practice on your instrument, a uh, beginning warm up on your D and A strings. Eventually, we're going to add the G and E strings in, but I want to start super easy, checking for posture. A uh, reminder to make sure that your shoulder rest is on or sponge, if you have that. You've got your bow tightened and rosin, you've got all your good bow hold ingredients. Okay, I'm going to ask you to send me a picture of your good bow hold. And your violin's up high on your shoulder. You should be able to hold it without any hands easily so that your scroll is at the height of your nose. We don't want to shoot the um, frogs or shoot the birds. We want to be right at our target level. I call this target shooting. Left hand's relaxed. You can shake it out. You can do a couple little um, waxing the strings there. Tap your thumb, make sure your thumb isn't squeezing. And then we're gonna play the escalator. When we do that, we're starting today, like I said, on D, and then we're gonna go to the A string, and then we'll go backwards from A to D. Uh, we will add G and E strings in the next couple weeks, okay? So we're going to climb up one note at a time. So first finger on D is called E. So when I'll start out on D, when I say go, say D, play. Ready, go, then you'll say D, play, and then we'll play this rhythm, pepperoni, pizza. okay, we're going to play it with our backing track, and then the next note, we'll do one finger on D, which is called, hopefully you said E, so then I'll say, when I say go, say E, play, ready, go, you'll say E, play, then you'll play pepperoni, pizza on E, then we'll do the low two, High two, three, go to the A string, open, one, low two, high two, three. We'll repeat the top note, go back, high two, low two, one, open, three, high two, low two, one, open, okay? So if you have questions, let me know in our live class. Let me know if this is pretty easy or if this needs to be a little slower for you. Um, that will help me. I'm going to use our little backing track here that I made on the electric violin loop. So get that started and then I'll talk us in here. So go ahead and get your violin ready. Ready? When I say go, say D play. Ready, go. D play. When I say go, say E play. Ready, go. E play. When I say go, say F play. Ready, go. F play. Low two here. When I say go, say F sharp play. Ready, go. F sharp play. When I say go, say G play. Ready, go. G play. When I say go, say A play. Ready, go. A play. When I say go, say B play. Ready, go. B play. When I say go, say C play. Ready, go. C play. I say go, say C sharp play, ready, go, C sharp play. When I say go, say Heidi play, ready, go, Heidi play. When I say go, say Heidi play, ready, go, Heidi play. When I say go, say C sharp play, ready, go, C sharp play. When I say go, say C natural play, ready, go, C play. I say go, say B play, ready, go, B play. When I say go, say A play, ready, go, A play. When I say go, say G play, ready, go, G play. When I say go, say F sharp play, ready, go, F sharp play. When I say go, say F play, ready, go, F play. When I say go, say E play, ready, go, say E play. When I say go, say D play, ready, go, D play. All right, so that is our escalator. So you'll notice the backing track will sound a little clashy and dissonant with some notes, and it's supposed to be like that. And then other notes will sound more uh, resolved. And then... Uh, when you're saying the notes, make sure you say them out loud, speak them out loud. It will help make brain connections while you play if you say them out loud. So every time I say go, you're calling that note out loud. 
And then um, when we're on the natural notes, C natural and F natural, you can just call them C and F because the rhythm and the timing, it's going to be really hard to say C natural and F natural so fast. Um, so just know when you say C or F, that is a regular C, not sharp C or sharp F. Uh, okay, so that's going to just be our D and A string escalators. I'm going to make some other videos that will encompass some of your music songs, but this is your warm-up video. So make sure you use this to practice your warm-up every day. And if nothing else, you are doing this video every single day for your practice time. And always be thinking about your bow hold and your left hand and calling out your mouth. And what part of your bow are you using? Probably the middle part, nice and short little bows, staccato and you're driving over those F holes in that middle lane. Okay, so it gives you some things to think about and share. If you um, make some videos of yourself playing with me, I would love if you wanna record them and share with me too. So I'll look forward to seeing you in our next orchestra class. Thanks for watching, bye.